So here we are at the Lawson Volcani Volcanic National Park Visitor Center. Uh, it's got a little museum inside. It has a couple of little shops and it has a uh, snack bar. As you can see, there's lots of parking and sidewalks that make it easy to get up to the visitor center. And the views here are absolutely beautiful. Okay, I've gone into the visitor center, got my postcards, got my stamps on the back. Uh, just nice normal postcard of Lassen, but with a nice pretty volcano. And then this postcard always says, the stamps always say what day it is. So that's perfect. This one's cool. It's got the mountain range, so it shows all the different volcanoes. And again, oh, sorry, B on my hand, uh, the stamp for here. Um, something that I found in the gift shop, they actually have these, uh, like past their stickers you can put your stamps on these and put them in your book so if you have a book you just forgot it you can stamp these and it's got adhesive on the back and it will stick in your book you post you put your stamp on the sticker and then you can peel it off and put it into your passport book that's a really great idea. It sort of makes it easy to just be able to uh, still get that stamp in your book. Uh, thought I'd let you know about those. I still like my postcard idea the best just because then I end up with the cool postcards. But How it is good to know. Uh, this is 95 cents. So three stickers for 95 cents. I mean, if you're really stuck with having your book, this is a really great way to be able to still have the stamp. So as we were driving along the National Park Highway, we were really surprised at first how much, how many of the wildflowers were in bloom, but then secondly, when we got to the higher elevations, how much snow there was. Uh, it got noticeably cooler because uh, I had the window down and was holding the camera out. We know exactly how cold it got. Uh, but it got noticeably cooler as we got higher and what was most interesting for us was to learn that uh, Lawson uh, is a good example of the volcanic forces that are uh, unleashed by the earth uh, and all four types of volcanoes shield, composite, cinder cone, and plug dome 
are found within the park. Uh, the Lawson volcano, Lawson Peak, is one of the largest uh, plug dome volcanoes in the world, uh, and its last eruptions were between 1914 and 1921. Uh, what was really kind of interesting was that the eruptions were photographed by a local businessman, uh, Mr. Loomis, and served as the inspiration for the creation of the park uh, on August uh, 9th of 1916. At one point we came to this little lake called Lake Helen that was covered with ice and snow and we pulled off to the side of the road and I walked over put my GoPro on a selfie stick and I stuck it down in the water just to see what I could see. Because of its volcanic nature, Lawson has some of the same features that Yellowstone has. Mud pots, geysers, and some seam vents. Unfortunately, most of these are only uh, available to you if you hike. So uh, there is a couple of places that uh, are very popular. One is called Bumpus Hell. It has a boardwalk. It's about a three mile walk. Unfortunately, it was closed for rehabilitation and so we weren't able to do that this time. That's the great thing about national parks is that they are accessible usually by a major road and then you can go off onto the other roads and explore and see all the different things that you want to see or you can stay in your car and have a great view of most everything that the parks have to offer. Lawson is one of the nine national parks in California and uh, it's interesting because it's probably the least visited. So it's about three hours northwest of Reno is what it took us to drive uh, up to it and then once we went through the park it was about 90 minutes to drive through the park taking a few stops to be able to take pictures. And then once we got out of the park, it was about another hour to get to Redding, which was the next uh, largest city north. So it's quite a bit out of the way of just going across I-80, but it's definitely something that you want to uh, be able to go to at least once. Say you've gone to it and uh, be able to experience this beauty that is this volcanic area. So we basically came in the southern, I guess it's the southeastern, southwestern entrance of the park. And uh, there's lots to do. We just drove the, the highway. We stopped at the visitor center that was down at the southern entrance. Uh, but then we just drove up through the park. And uh, right now you can see we're driving through an area where Apparently in 2012, lightning started a fire. Uh, anyway, there's, there's lots to do here. Mostly, uh, if you want to go into some of the less accessible areas, you have to hike. Uh, as you saw, we saw a number of people that were out kayaking in the lakes. Uh, I can only imagine how cold these lakes must have been. When I took the picture under the water in the lake, I had to get down on my knees and I stuck my camera in, but I also stuck my hand in the water and it was freezing cold. So, uh, and this is in late July. So uh, it's uh, a fun place to go, a beautiful place to visit. Uh, At the northern entrance, uh, called the Manzanita, there's a mon it's the area is referred to by the name of the lake, which is Manzanita Lake, if I'm saying that right. And by this lake, there's a fairly sizable campground, 
and there is a camp store where you can buy supplies and supposedly they have a, a, a snack bar there also. So it is possible that you could get food and other snacks and supplies there. Well, that's it for our visit to Lawson. Uh, thanks for joining us on this part of our journey. And here's a sneak peek of what's coming up in the next few weeks.